I think you'd be good up here once a week, maybe twice. If you need some, you know, we need some. Like to have, <laughs> you know, could we hire Skip Bayless? I think we should hire Skip Bayless, Kim. You going to vote with me? I'm going to say what I got to say when you finish. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to bust no move to hire Skip. And then y'all be calling me, say, well, I hire Skip, you know. I think I think this this is um this is alarming. Being that, shout out to Shannon Sharp. It, it proves the power of Shannon Sharp. Um, pause. That Shannon Sharp was on this show, and a year ago he left, and a year later it's like grand opening, grand closing. Pause. That he was actually that important to that show, and sometimes people just underestimate chemistry, like. Like there's a there's an ability that you have by yourself, and then there's an ability that you have, you know, with people standing side side by side with you. And I think this this speaks largely pause to that. And when when Skip Bayless is is off the air, I don't think he's gonna be off the air for long. I think he's definitely transitioning to something else. But you think of all of the things that went into this show. I mean, you got Lil Wayne, you got Mike Irvin, you got um Paul Pierce, and you know, great talent. And shout outs to all of those people. And to think that he did all of this and Richard Sherman, um, even Rachel Nichols, I think she need to be added to this show and added to what we're doing. And we just has so much great talent up there, and it just speaks to the fact of, of what you and I are doing, Killer. It speaks largely to that. That's what I really, really think, because in us coming on every morning, it, it's starting to dwindle that audience. And, and when you only have two hours, you have to decide what you're going to watch. And and the people have decided. That's what it really says to me. So congratulations, Killer. We ran Skip off. That's what I was going to start with. <laughs> that Mace. This is this was all planned by Mace. I'm just saying this. Mace said, "Let's get the eight o'clock time slot." He said, "We not going to Stephen A. That's how that came on the show early before we had a deal. Or anything we was putting our own money up. Stephen A. came on the show." He said, we're going to leave that 10 o'clock time slot alone. But you said, Skip, that's, ex that's exactly what you said. <laughs> now you're sitting there trying to make it sound all, well, you know, if the two hours you have to say, yes, that's the for Skip, man. <laughs> Coming on at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Why are you trying to be professional about it? <laughs> say, yo, we're going to get up out of here. Now that now shit that happened. Well, what I'm saying is that <laughs> this was your plan. Talk about we did it. Now. I was down. <laughs> Don't get me, I wasn't down. I was down. I'm down. Whatever we gonna do, I'm down. But this was your exact yeah. plan. He said, Stephen A at 10. We ain't with Steve. That's our name. Yeah. Eight o'clock on the way to work, on the way to school. They getting ready for work. We gonna get that out of here. And yeah, so I'll say we, but <laughs> your plan <laughs> actually happened. Look, you can see Skip. Look, and, and you know, we make fun of Skip up here a lot, but seriously. We got to think about this before I say anything negatively about Skip. Yeah. Skip got Stephen A. back on first take when mm -hmm. Stephen A. wasn't working for ESPN. Skip, Skip also gave Shannon Sharp, Sharp, pardon me, Shannon Sharp an opportunity to sh show his um, expertise or being a broadcaster, analyst, or whatever you want to call it. Because um, nobody knew Shannon Sharp was able to do that. Even in the beginning, it was like, yo, what this country doing up here? Yeah. But he ended up being funny. He had a lot of personality. He brought a lot of shit to the table. He just forgot Shannon was drinking Hennessy. He was smoking Black and Mal. He yeah, was taking puff of weed. Yeah, taking a puff of weed with Snoop Dogg. Shannon brought a lot of his along with him. And with listening to Shannon talk about his departure from Undisputed, he was really hurt. He said it got to the point where Skip... And him didn't even talk unless it was on the show. They didn't talk before the show, after the show. It just got to, to that much tension. And Shannon ended up going to first take, which everybody knows. So imagine Skip looking at the two nicks he put on, kill him in the ratings. Like, you yeah. know, you know that walk around the house with his wife is like, put these on. <laughs> and this is, <laughs> put, this, I I this is what I get. This is what I get. the thanks I get. Yeah, this is the thanks I get. And I was listening. Now, we're not on linear or traditional television. 
So I, I say it's a little different, but I, I keep in tune with everything. First take averages 450,000 or a little bit more than that viewers per day to where Undisputed is averaging 53,000 viewers per day. And that's a big disparity when you think about, that's a 400,000 person disparity. Mm -hmm. And I, when I read that probably about a month or two ago, and I was like, that's kind of wild, yo. I, I'm, I'm, that's, that's like, some numbers is kind of wild to have yeah, 53,000. Really and I didn't fact check it, but I'm sitting there like, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to fact check it. I want it to kind of be right because I was Steven and I was Shannon, what they doing anyway. Um, I don't know Shannon personally. Stephen A. Smith is my So it's just sad, man, because we sat up here and made fun of him all season, man. You, you dissed him, and you dissed him murder, and you dissed him over and over again. <laughs> and now the man don't got a fucking network. But to be honest with you, when his season started last season at the beginning of the football season, talking about the undisputed season, a lot of – People like right now on vacation, like Stephen A is on vacation, Skip goes on vacation now. A lot of times after the NBA championship is over, they go on vacation to probably preseason football. And when they started last year, when I seen what he was trying to do, the show, the beginning, you know, the intro, it had gold chains around his neck. Like, like you know, it was like, what mm -hmm. you trying to do? Nigga shit, then you got, then you sit there and get Lil Wayne, which Lil Wayne's my... I, I love Lil Wayne. That's my brother, my brother. I'm talking about, you know, Lil Wayne is is, is young money, but I a dip set too. That's my nigga. Um, but it, it looked like a reach. But I know Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne wasn't coming every Friday for free. That nigga runs it up. Mm -hmm. Then you sat there and got Michael Irvin. Then you sat there and got Richard, Richard Sherman, Ke Keyshawn Johnson. All these was clashing like Skip Bayless didn't even have a spot on his own show. The shit was just too much going on, and it was confusing. Then that shit wasn't working. Then you start going to get nigga. Shout out to my nigga Bubba Dub. That's my dude. But you like, damn, you just reaching. Not saying that Bubba Dub don't deserve opportunity because he does. He knows what he's talking about. He's funny. He's factual. I fuck nigga. But for Skip to be like, what's the end? Give me an internet sensation. Is he, is he an internet sensation? Yeah. Give, me, give me one of them internet sensations. I need one of them types. And then you go get Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce was on for about a month and a half. He, he couldn't stop saying on TV. And, and they let them keep saying, and you kind of see... The shit spiraling to, I didn't know it was going to come to this, but you got what you wanted, murder. <laughs> you know? Now, back to what Skip, what um, Paul Mays was saying. We got a job for you. We, you know, we got what you want. I, I, I think you'd be good up here once a week. Maybe twice. If you need something, you know, we need soundness. <laughs> I don't know the right word, but. <laughs> Some diversity. That's that's a better diversity. word. Diversity is definitely the right word. Yeah, this, is why, <laughs> this is why I've been talking. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to say what you said off the <laughs> You know, there's some non-melaton. <laughs> yeah, some non, like, some diversity. Look, seriously, like, we was talking about this before. Like, you know, Rachel Nichols is a great talent. I've been, I've been looking for Max Kellerman. I'm trying to track him down for, like, the last year. Uh, Jeff Van Gundy just got a job somewhere. We've been looking for you diversities. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to get y'all to fuck us because we, we run it up. We get a chance. Look, we got OJ popping, God bless. It was a pleasure. Yo, that was, that was so much love that we was able to do that because OJ had one perception from, from a lot of people. Even though that man was found not guilty about, on all charges, people still want to think what you want to think. That's why he's on the show. Mark Jackson, he's on the show. Stat got on the show. Look, we are about black people first, but if you're white and you know what you're talking about and you can bring something to the show, cool. Look at Nick. He's white. <laughs> man, Nick over there, man. Eat it. We fuck. That's our man. <laughs> yeah. That's our man right there. We fuck with y'all, man. Okay. So, Skip, call me up. We'll have a meeting. We'll see what happens and um, you said you said we're about black people first. <laughs> we are. Because you know why? We didn't get the opportunities. See, like, statting them is young. And don't get me wrong, stats from a part of Florida where shit still get racial and all yeah. that shit. Yeah. But the opportunities, we didn't get opportunities. You know, we were too young to really have jobs or something, but, like, watching our mothers and grandmothers, they ain't getting no opportunities. They had to sit there and wait and get jobs that they was given or yeah. only could do. 
So now that you got the position, you in the oh, position. So the roles are revert. The tables have turned now. But that's what I'm about to say. Yeah. That's what I was about to explain to you. And that's what I was saying to white. Ain't it so cool that the black man can say diversity instead of the white? It's like, we're trying to, that's usually a white diversity, person word. Yeah, diversity. Yeah, when you at a job somewhere, <laughs> it's usually the white person that be like, we need a little bit of diversity you stand up in this. Yeah. That, you stand that's a fact. Yeah, because it sounds a little weird. I, I, it may I'm sound like, a little weird. Good on clean up. That was a good clean up. That was really the good. The whole thing is, it's a mess on our three. I ain't trying to clean it up. <laughs> I'm just telling you the facts. It was a fact, yo. They, that's, a, that's a white person's word. When it comes to jobs, and y'all don't have no, di or a black person say, y'all don't got no diversity up here. We need some diversity. Even when it comes to women, you're like, yo, man, they don't show no diversity. It's only men up here. Black men and women are giving white people <laughs> some diversity. I don't know, problems <laughs> with what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm curious to see what Skip will do next. Now let's discuss Team USA's. Boy, how nice of Mason Cameron to offer Skip a job. As it looks, FS1 fired him or let him go. ESPN put out a statement they don't want him. Stephen A. Smith said he doesn't want him neither. So where else is he going to go where he can be seen every day? No, at least a few times a week. You know where he can debate people about sports. I mean, his podcast is not doing so well. So if he does that full time, that's not changing anything. He still won't be seen. So, you know, with Mason Cameron offering him a job because, you know, it appears that they don't have that much diversity on this cast. I mean, two black guys from the ghetto and a black woman you know where is the white people it's to talk about some guy named Nick but we never see Nick you know and before that they had OJ on there they had uh, what's that running back uh, I don't remember his name but they had a running back on there during football season as well um, he was very good in college but he didn't do so well in the NFL you know, so it's it's only black guys that I see on here. I, I've seen Antonio Brown on, on there. So Skip Bayless, he would fit right in on this show. You know, and I'm happy that these guys are nice enough to offer Skip a job. Now, I know there is no way in hell Skip is going to take this because Skip has been in a position of power for the last, what, 20 years. And in the past eight years, he's kind of been an egomaniac, right? And that's part of the reason why he is where he is right now, like out of a job out of the national spotlight so for him to actually go on somebody's show take orders or you know listen to what somebody else has to say especially a black woman as a host <laughs> i think that this would definitely be you know way out of his, his radar and i do not see it happening at all but it would be as out of left field as no, OJ be <laughs> on the show anyway, but I wouldn't count on it. All right. But anyway, just want to show you guys a little video and that's about it. So until next time.